classic truck rescue. What were you expecting? Beauty in the bulb. <laughs> Rick and Jamie have acquired this behemoth. Instead of uh, having it ready to go in a straight line out somewhere, they had to have it so you had to back up to it crooked. And there's another problem. But something is going awry. It's hampering our efforts of getting it on the trailer. So now it can't be steered. Oh, that's not working. I didn't bring a sledgehammer. Hey! I should just use the boom and let the front of this up and let you back underneath it. Good idea. With this, right here. But all we really got to do is get the front tire straight. So we can take the weight off of it. Nothing like overcomplicating matters. Rainy. Oh, it's my brother. This is a trainee. <laughs> a little extra trainee, yeah. We work pretty good together. Yeah, it's good to have that. Great. You get more to play than what's done with the right person. Hey, I said straight, not turn. Come on back. Winding her up.
Somebody over well, here. I don't I'm not following you guys. Look. They won't come down because why? There's not enough weight. Up front. Right, the truck's not far enough forward. Well, I can't get it. It's probably heavier in the back than it is in the front. Oh, well, I would imagine so that they're in. Is there an engine in this one? Where were we?
toolbox way yet? Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and put at least three of the Okay. I'll go get catches. What size was that nut? Inch and a quarter. Good. Thank you, Rex. You're welcome. All right, eastbound her down and loaded up the truck and we're uh, doors strapped shut. Got double straps on the back because that's an awful lot of heavy on there. All right, thank you again. All right, yeah. All right, the things we do for our friends. Well, two wheel bearings, one hub, and two tires later. Here it is. And where do you think we are? Hello? I guess your idea of an open gate and my idea of an open gate is two different ideas. I had to get stuff. I'm on my way right now. Oh, okay. Bye. All right. See ya. Totally excited. That's my buddy Jeff. 200 miles. 200 miles I drive. My buddy Jeff is here with a surprise. Jeff brought us a surprise. Well, it's not a surprise for me. It's a surprise for you guys. But I want to get some film of that puppy rolling onto the property. You know, I figured out how much it would cost for me to haul a truck that I bought up here. And then I figured in the gas, the motel, because it's an overnight trip for Jamie and I if we do it and uh the food the fuel i already did that didn't i well anyway i figured it all out and i figured out that it would be beneficial to pay jeff to haul this truck up Set up cameras. Keep all. Mr. Slowpoke, open the gate. I'm getting tired of having to wait. <laughs> Just walk up and push the button, you lazy scum! Yeah, what button? What button would you like me to push, Jeff? <laughs> you ain't got one? No, the transmitter on the keypad doesn't work. And my mom's got the brand new opener and Jamie's got the other new one. So guess who has the old one? Oh, of course. The guy that opens the gate all the time. <laughs> Jeff Bradshaw, 
from Elderly Iron and that old truck. Yeah. <laughs> Elderly Iron. There she is, folks, in all her splendor. Look at that beauty, huh? A face that only a mother could love. Yeah. I told him it has a face only a mother could love. <laughs> How was your trip? A truck made for radio. A truck made for radio? Weren't you on radio for a while, Jeff? <laughs> well, what do you mean by that? It's only a mother and radio. Well, I can either pull up or go around and Luke and be headed out. Yeah, you can do that. I'd rather be headed out. Okay. There's plenty of room for you to get around, I think. Call you Taylor, that's a Spartan 90, folks. That's a big one. It's a big one. Yep. Spartan 90. Oh, yeah. That's a big boy. Look at just towering above everything else. You can't get bigger than a Spartan in a 58 Chevy. Mm -mm. That's the big one. Just pull forward some more. That's good. Was it missing some of the lug nuts? Or do you got them? I got them. Okay. Was missing what? Competent help. Competent help? Oh. Yeah, so they destroyed the steering wheel, huh? Yeah.
Well, you didn't mess around about strapping it down, did you? Oh, man. It carries a lot of momentum. Yeah, I bet. You know, I had to get a new computer. First time I've ever got a new computer in my life. I told you that, didn't I? Yeah. Oh. What a shame it's got Windows 11 on it. Is that bad? Oh, it's horrible. Well, I know that it no longer takes me three days to save a video. I brought some blocks. So as soon as we get the back wheels on the ground, I'll put those blocks in front of them and pull the truck up onto them. Put the rear tires on? Yeah. That truck is just cuter than heck. It's ugly and cute at the same time. Well, I will say that the guy at the uh, Circle K at the Corvallis exit really liked it. Yeah. Spartan Knight. Spartacus. Spartacus, that's, that's what its name is. Spartacus. Boy, I wish it could tell me some stories. Oh, it used to be a red one, huh? Yeah, it was all red. It was a red one. Until they put the boat paint on it. Holy it was, cow! Even the frame was red. How much of this do you think we ate when we were babies, Jeff? <laughs> <laughs> I, I distinctly remember sampling some from a windowsill. Do you? Yeah. Wow. That's yeah. something I've never done. Yeah, well, I did. I, I, had know, I, I knew I was destined to be a mechanic because <laughs> I remember being back in the 50s, they had those kitchen dinette sets with the chrome legs. Yeah. And I was crawling around in the chrome jungle, and I found a pair of tweezers. And I looked at the end of those tweezers, and I looked at that wall socket, and I looked at the end of the tweezers, <laughs> and I said, yep, yep. them go there. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Why the lights go out? Where's Jeffy? Where's and the little Jeffy? And I screamed. <laughs> and suddenly the chrome jungle disappeared in a, in a whirlwind. Hey Jeff, I can start my tractor one-handed now. You used to have to... I was going to say, is that a new feat? Yeah, you used to have to reach back here and hold the PTO lever back while you turned the key because of that safety switch. And then when you got done brush hogging, you couldn't disengage the PTO. And uh, I called Kubota about it. I had a 24 month warranty on this and I'm just one month out. But when I called them two months ago and told them about the problem, they said, oh, you just give it a little adjustment, it'll be fine. And I was busy, so I forgot about it. Then I realized that the cable was all out of whack and everything, so I called them again and they said, oh, you're out of warranty. So I did what we do, which is go get my tools. And I gave it a little adjustment and on I top of And I gave it a little head. adjustment. Now I can start it with one hand. Yeah. And the PTO works. Scenario 
I'd say because you don't ever get to see any of these. And you want to learn. You wanted one for yourself, so you thought you might stop and have a closer look and find out about it, find out more about it. And and you wanted to learn how to properly strap down a vehicle, so you could check people. All right, show me. No tangly string. Show me. See? That's no very organized. Strength. That'd drive me nuts. I got a box I put on the back seat and I throw them in the box, <laughs> but I don't fold them up. Okay, what else we gotta do? Unlock the deck. That's a good thing to do. I've got it chained to the tractor. The deck? No, the track the truck. You're driving the truck, right? Nope. Self auto unload? Yep. All right. Ready? Go. Oh, your friends were so knocked out. You had to have the last word last night. So, so much, much fun, fun to be, be around. around. You had to have the white hot spotlight. You had to be a big shot last night. Whoa. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. I grabbed my gloves and then I promptly left them over there. That means you get to do the dirty stuff. I'll find my other gloves. <laughs> that don't look like inch and a quarter to me. No? Well, I couldn't read it, so <laughs> that's inch and an eighth. That ain't gonna work. You sure? Yeah. If it's inch and a quarter, inch and an eighth is not going to work. You wanna be sure? There, okay, be I'll... sure. Okay, that's not gonna work. 
That's not going to work either. No, I don't think so. I'll be right back. All right. I'll be right here. That Maybe over there. That one looked like a winner to me. Here. Thank you. Come on, Anna. Let's go find this tool. Uh-oh. I may have trouble, folks. I may have problems. Jeff's over there looking at my grumpy truck. Oh, and I just got those new tires on the back of it and got her all tuned up and starting good and I got room on the trailer. Driving good. <laughs> I got room in my wallet. <laughs> you wanna go there? <laughs> I got room in my wallet. I got a clear title on it. Holy depends cow. On how, depends Those... on how soon you want to fill that wallet. <laughs> we'll talk. Inch and a quarter. Yes. Look at that. As requested. Can't trust the gloveless. How did we get by without those? Oh, I know. How did we do that? But we did it for decades. Same way we got by without microwave ovens. Yep. Which, by the way, we do not have a microwave oven. You don't? No. Why? By don't, choice? Don't need one. Because you're... Your wife cooks like they used to, is why. <laughs> That's you're eating good in the neighborhood. And if people don't know how to reheat nothing without a microwave. Um, I'm you assuming... Got a bar? Oh, a leverage bar. Yeah, I do. I'm assuming it goes like that. If you want the valve... That's outside? Uh, yeah. Negative. It goes the other way. You see the clamp? Yeah, I see the clamp on both sides. Well, that would Don't. look better. That would certainly look better, wouldn't it? Well, I don't know, Jeff. I've never had a Spartan. Now we gotta tap her in. Nice sledge. I'm gonna Sledging. go get you a sledge o -matic. Yeah, go get the hammer. I ain't a sledgehammer. Oh, you want a big one? I think it'll do it. Do it. Man, that's hard on the ears. Holy cow. My head down here. It's going. Yeah, it is. Catch a little back swing. Boy, they like to do things hard in the old days. A man's machine. Those are some big tires. Not enough. It's all the way up there. Sledgehammer. Sledgehammer! Ain't not enough to get. Oh, we can get a thread on that one. You can get a thread on it. Get a thread on that one. Now he takes the impact. <laughs> Didn't flop back on you? Oh. Good deal. Oh. I didn't know I needed earplugs today. Yeah. It works the rest of the things. 
on the back. Well, we weren't short when I started this. You have to be a beta dita. Yeah, they were all impressed with your holocaust dress and the people you knew at Elades and the story of your latest on. success kept them so entertained. Oh, you just don't remember all the things you said and did not show that you want to know. I'll, I'll tell you one, one hit, honey, you sure did, did put on the show. On the show. And this tire did flop off just a bit. Gotta lift it with the tractor. Yes, we do. Are you sunbathing? Are you sunbathing, little dude? This one, I'm away. We got to with the tractor. We got to Oh, oh, you're the one driving the strap. Oh, no. How low can you go? I'm low. Boy, I'll say. Sledge. Oh, you done it. Hey, we might be able to get there from here. Yeah, we could get a nut on that one. Just it, just it. Are you? Do you run off your energy now? Your hyperactivity. She was sprinting around the property. Oh yeah, she goes full speed ahead. Dragon breath. What even dragon? Whatever she can get her hands on. All I gotta do is get it low enough. You can't reach me. Oh, you want to in the worst way. That's good enough. This thing's not going on the highway with these tires. Just gotta roll around the yard. Yep. Okay. I can take that Barracuda back. Yeah. How's your back? Uh, well, <laughs> it's been better. But it, it gets better, Jeff. It's getting better all the time. It just, uh... Looks to me like it's hurting. It starts tightening up on me. After a couple hours. I want my mom. <laughs> you look more wiped out than I do. I've been, I've been pretty busy. I don't know if you noticed, but I just mowed my whole pasture day before yesterday, and I was like thinking, oh, this. Huh? Can't see it from the driveway. Well, I mowed the whole pasture and all this out here, and I'm because I got my brush hog fixed, right? Yeah. So I'm tooling along in my tractor, and I'm thinking, my, I might be able to get this whole thing done before dark. That'd be great. It was supposed to rain the next day, so I just kept going for hours. 
thinking, oh, this is easy work, something I can do when my back don't hurt, but I don't I didn't think about all the twisting and bouncing and everything, and the next day, I paid. Yeah. And the next day was yesterday. Ah. So I still got a little lingering from the mowing, but it's getting better. It is. Is that a springy seat? Yep. Huh. Oh, this was Inspector a General. Oh, yeah, you got to go, don't you? Come on, I know. Up, up. You can get up there. Up. <laughs> go ahead. She just doesn't care. She, she she comes out with webs all over and check it out honey is it good is there anything in there oh. come on come on you inspection, can do it inspection yeah. complete good truck girl. is clear good girl so Jeff when you've got a big old heavy old manual steering truck with huge tires on the front of it that's been sitting forever what do you not do when you first move it well you don't try to move it with the tires flat or or what could happen if you just start yanking on the well, steering wheel if you're a mcgilla gorilla you can do this <laughs> note the freshly his truck is not centered on it this the steering is not centered so, so yeah. And let's not leave the nut on the steering shaft. Let's clamp the vice grips down on the yeah. threads. Yeah, yeah, because those fine threads, right? Yeah. Yeah, fine threads. And let's... Any sign of that three-quarter inch nut anywhere? You mean this one right here? The nut's in there? Well, you didn't expect... Come on, you. You didn't expect him to leave the nut on to do that, <laughs> did you? Well, it would have protected the threads, right? <laughs> All right, we'll we'll steer it. Uh, we'll use the Kubota power steering. Lift it up. Oh, there's the ashtray and the horn button and the ignition switch. That's the correct horn button. Too bad they didn't leave that tack in that big hole in the dash. See the big hole to the left <laughs> of the instrument cluster? Yeah, I'm looking at other stuff. That's where a football tack goes. So you had to have the ashtray out because that's where you hotwire it. Yeah. Well, guess who has an NOS red football tachometer, sun super tack that will fit right in that hole. That's where they put them, Jeff, when they were new. Air hornage. Yay. Valve's not stuck. That's cool. I got to hear that. Wow, it's really solid above there, isn't it? Wasp free. Holy cow. They're usually all rotted out right there where the rear view mirror goes. Or they often are. I shouldn't say usually, I guess. This thing's actually really solid, huh? Except the cab corners and the corners of the doors. It's got aftermarket carpet in it. Yeah. What do you want to do? Go have a cup of coffee and sit on my porch. I see. With you. Let us go and rest. We're going to go rest. Thank you for bringing this up, brother. Appreciate it. Hey. Yeah. Want some running boards? Running boards for what? Whatever you want to put them on. Why do I get the feeling you're trying to ditch some junk on me? <laughs> Jeff? These are prime running boards. Off what? These are 2020 Chevrolet. I'll look at them. Yeah, no. See? Oh, yeah. no, no, they're still in the truck. Don't bother unloading them. You know, you know, I'm trying to do my spring cleaning right now, right? What's that? It's where a lot of stuff leaves the property. A lot of mowing gets done and uh, stuff like that. Look at those. Well, they are nice running boards, aren't they? Yeah. See? See? Oh. Two styles. Oh, t so they're not matching? Well, there's two pair here. Oh. There's two styles. One style, and there's another style. You know. Uh, don't do it, Rick. Don't try, do just it. Just trying to help out a friend, that's all. Don't do it, Rick. Don't do it. Stop. You're the second person that doesn't want them today. Go have the coffee and the bottled water. No. Thank you, but... 
I'm trying to change my ways, Jeff. No, they look horrible on Slinky. They might look good on Boomer, though, It's which is the only reason I walked over here. But Boomer, my big monster truck. The one that's sticking up above everything else. Anna, just tell Daddy, don't do it, Dad. Don't do it, Dad. Okay, I'm not doing it. Uh. You're good. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Little collateral damage. Oh, it happens. One of those was still good. Well, if only one of them was still good, then I needed some anyways. Oh, that was a 1960. Yeah, it was. That was a 1960. Oh no, you broke the good one. Oh no, it's still intact. Okay. okay. No harm, no foul. So Jeff, if the end times come and we have to go get a diesel tanker. Oh, I see that. Mad Max. <laughs> Anyways. Find somebody to fill it for you. Thank you, brother. Yep. I appreciate you hauling that truck up here. There's just one thing I'm missing though. I'm Jeff Bradshaw, Redneck Restorations. This little truck brought to you by ElderlyIron.com. And for classic truck rescue, I'm Jeff Bradshaw. Thank you, brother. Peace out. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs>